Well, hey there, Pastor Greg here. When I say certain words, you get a picture in your head from that word. If I say the word car, you get a picture in your head. Maybe it's the, the car that you own currently. Maybe it's a car that you want. If I say the word dog, you get a picture in your head. Maybe it's the dog you had when you were a kid. Maybe it's that neighbor's dog that just won't stop barking. What happens when I say the word father? For me, growing up, my relationship with my father was not great for a lot of reasons. So as a new believer, when I came to Matthew 6, the Lord's Prayer, when Jesus is teaching us how to pray, it, it was difficult for me. Because when he talked about our father, the picture that I had in my head was not a great picture. And so when Jesus says, your father knows exactly what you need, even before you ask him, pray like this, our father in heaven, may your name be kept holy. It, it, it was hard for me as a new believer to, to really understand what that meant because the picture I had was of my earthly father. But our heavenly father is nothing like our earthly father. Our heavenly father is a good father. He is a loving father. He is a perfect father. As you spend a few minutes in prayer today, spend some time reflecting on our heavenly father, that even if you had an amazing earthly father, that our heavenly father is still more than that. Our heavenly father loves us more than we can understand. And when we pray, our father in heaven, your name be kept holy. He is a perfect, loving father. Spend a few minutes reflecting on that.